and no decision in life or in football too strange for him to make. And the back of all this as well, don't forget, we're going to tell you, of course, he is in one way at least one of the most successful footballers of all time. He's one of only four players to have scored in two different World Cup finals, but certainly the only defender to have done it. More about Paul Breitner very, very soon here with Andy Brassell and me on Danny Kelly's Trans Europe Express Cult Hero Summer Special. In the spring of the year 2020 AD, a deadly enemy rages like a torrent of fire between the ends of empire. My name is Maximus Fox, Sportus Pandemicus, gladiator of the sports radio. Gird up your loins and battle the invasion of COVID-19, because what you do today will echo in eternity. Top Sport Legion, assume torches formation against COVID-19. Show this virus no mercy by keeping a distance of at least two meters at all times at 6.75 rail feet centurions. Together, Legion, Talk Sportus can defeat it. Talk Sportus, Maximus. On my signal, unleash hand sanitizer. Keep it on. Stay informed and give coronavirus the red cardus. Are you not hand sanitized? Talk sport. Keep it on and stay informed. Arsene Wenger says... I just would like to, to tell them keep safe and have hope that we get back to what makes football great. That's what we want all to come back. Coronavirus. <laughs> Germany, of course it was then, won by uh, West Germany with Paul Brightner very much the team. But Andy, before we go, you want to go back a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of months before that, to Bayern's triumph in the 74 uh, European Cup final. Yeah, because uh, as you said, Danny, it was their first European Cup and the last day of Paul Brightner was his first spell at, at, at Bayern. And um, this led them into the World Cup absolutely brilliantly, but they were so close to, to losing it in the first game. They were 1-0 down. Deep into extra time, Luis Aragonés has scored for Atletico, and then Hans Jörg Schwarzenbeck is the surprise equaliser equalizer scorer in the 120th minute. The man with the most German name in history, Hans Jörg Schwarzenbeck. Yeah, despite Breitner shouting at him, "For God's sake, don't shoot!" <laughs> despite Gert Müller going, "Give it to me, I'm in space." <laughs> Schwarzenbeck shoots, scores, and they go on and win the replay. 4-0 in what is the last act of, of, of Breitner's first spell at Bayern. And let's, let's think again when we get further into this World Cup about the relationship between Breitner and Gert Müller. Sure, I'd, I'd love to. Um, the World Cup, of course, is in Germany, but Germany are not favourites for it, despite having um, the guts of that brilliant Bayern Munich team. Um, Holland are the favourites. They're, they're Cruyff-led um, total football team, of course, Cruyff doesn't go to Argentina four years later, so this is the, the moment for Holland to win the World Cup if they're going to win it. Um, it doesn't work out that way. 